Well, hello, artists. Today, we're going to continue to work on our community art project. As a reminder, a community is a place or a group of people that mean something to you. So that could be the people that live in your home, or it could be our school community, our town community, or even the world community. Before you get started, you have to set up your space. Get your paper from the teacher in the front of the room with your clip on it and bring it to your seat. One person from every table needs to get a water bowl, put water in one side and a wet sponge in the other side. You may need to put it under running water to get it wet. Notice that the water is just in one side and it's empty in the other side and the sponge is wet. We don't need to fill the sponge side with water. One person will take that back to their table. A different person at the table can grab a paint tray. You can see all the paint trays are here and we just need one per table. Please carry with two hands. Every person is gonna wanna wear an apron. These are really easy to put on. You just put your head through the hole. Every person will need to get a paintbrush. So I like to get one paintbrush that's kind of large and one that's skinny. You do not need more than two paintbrushes. Once the table is all set up, it should look something like this. Once you start painting, you might notice that your paint water gets really dirty. One person can take it over to the sink, dump it out, and get some fresh water. You may also want to clean your sponge while you're at the sink. Just rinse it off, squeeze that extra water out, and then you have fresh water and a clean sponge. One cool thing about temper cakes is that they do not work unless they are wet. So, I'm going to get my paintbrush nice and wet by putting it in the water, and then I'm gonna rub my paintbrush around on top of the temper cake to make it wet, and then it'll work just fine. Make sure your brush is wet before you use the temper cakes. Okay, so I'm just basically gonna color in my drawing from last class with my wet temper cakes. A couple tips that I have is if your color is not bright enough for you, maybe consider having a little less water on your brush or maybe you need a little bit more water on the temper cake. Make sure when you're putting your brush in the water bowl that you are not tapping it and splashing water all over. If you tap your brush on the side, little splashes might jump off of your brush and get on your paper or somebody else's. Um, I like that I use the crayon to do all the edges and I'm basically just coloring everything in with my brush now. Notice how I go around the outside of the clouds and then paint around it. Take your time. Painting can be a little bit faster than coloring, so you should have plenty of time. You can also mix colors together while the paint is still wet on your paper. So here I'm making sure that I am mixing two wet colors together on my paper to make colors blend together. There's no orange in your palette, so if you need orange, you got to make it by using a lot of wet yellow and wet red mixed together. So just take your time. If you need to use a small brush to get into small areas, do that. And I can't wait to see how your finished community paintings turn out. When it's time to clean up, the first thing you wanna do is bring your art to the drying rack so it's safe. Please make sure that your clip is on your painting so I know who it belongs to when it's on the drying rack. Place it on one of the empty shelves and leave it there. Ms. Schaefer will take it off once it's dry. Once your art is safe on the drying rack, it's time to wipe the table. You're gonna want two different rags, 
a brown paper towel that's wet and a green towel that's dry. Use the brown wet towel to wipe the table first to get rid of any dirty paint marks. Then use the dry green towel to dry the table. We want the table to be dry for the next class. Once the table is clean, you should put your apron away. Please notice that I'm hanging it from the strings in the head hole. Do not hang your apron over the hooks through the head hole. That makes it hard for other people to hang up their aprons. Hang it from the string. Okay, time to paint our community art project.